Welcome, Welcome back, back to Crisis, Crisis with, with Kira and Isis. Happy October 1st. Yes. Welcome to October. Ooh. <laughs> um, would you say this is one of your favorite months? Um, yeah. Mm. It's also my birth month. <laughs> Ew. So it's the best month. What's your birth what's the birthstone for October? Um, it's either like opal or this like light pink stone. There's like I two like for some reason. One. Yeah, they have two for some reason. I huh. personally like opal better. So. Mine's ruby, which I personally don't yeah. like that much because it's so red. Yeah, but yeah. like on your candle, your senior candle, mm. it's light pink. Oh, the pink, pink and, one. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. So in my sorority, our littles give us a candle at the end of your like senior your senior year. year. And Kira got me this really cute candle. And they like are you're supposed to like decorate it. Yeah, it's supposed to be special of some sort. So everyone should look essentially differently, different ideas. Kira actually got me one of those like no cold. I don't know. It's just uh, like a pillar like candle. Like a pillar, candle. A pillar yeah. candle. Because there's nothing wrapped around it. Yeah, and then it has like wax. a plate and it's de- decorated with like these pink and red stones. And the red stones is because of July and Ruby and the pink stone is because of October. It's yeah. also like the I really I wanted the base to be a beeswax candle to represent me and like gems and gemstones to like represent like you. Oh. The like glitz and glam. The like earthy and the and the gaudy. <laughs> <laughs> um so we're gonna talk about five things we love and hate about October specifically. Very specifically. Oh, we also don't know what each other put. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> so this is going to be a surprise to each of us. I'm going to, like, let, dim my screen so you can't even read it. Okay, let's start with the things that we love then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You, can, you have the honors. Okay, so in no particular order, first on my list is fireplace season and candles. That's very cute. I love you. fireplace for your home. And September, still too hot. October could still be hot, but it's now, like, acceptable vibes-wise. And it probably is starting to cool down enough. That's a good one. Yeah. That's and I, true. And, I, and you can't, yeah, because I don't use fireplace for your home in the summer. That'd be ridiculous. And October is the first month. I can fucking bring it back, and it's so good. I also feel like candles vibe hit different. Like, I use them year-round, but, like, it's not incense. These incense are, like, good for, like, the spring and the summer. Mm-hmm. And candles just really hit in the Yeah, I winter. don't burn can- – I only burn candles in, like, fall and winter. So, I, like, I just started burning candles again, mm. and it's so good. I like it. All right, first on my list is boots, knits, and Ooh. leggings under skirts. Ooh! <laughs> See, leggings under skirts, I don't know if it's, like – I feel like they're more just necessity. Yeah, but I like it. You do? Yes. Because mm. I feel like – not enough people do it, first and foremost. Yeah. Um, I feel, like, prettier in skirts and dresses anyways because stockings is not it. Do you, not, do you like leggings better than your bare legs rubbing together? That part. And I just feel, like, cozy. And then you go home and you just take off the skirt. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I'll literally wear, like, sweats under long skirts. Yeah. Like, pajamas, roll out of bed, throw on a... <laughs> oh my god the spirit of halloween is in my throat right now <laughs> so anyways um and then boots because i love wearing boots i think they're the most comfortable pair of, of shoes i have but they look so stupid in the summer yes ew i know i can never, unless they're cowboy boots i can never do boots i even have a hard time doing cowboy boots with like short like skirts mm. or shorts i see i see all right, next for you. Also, like my calves. <laughs> that petite I don't, I don't leg think ratio. my legs are built for, for that. Because, <laughs> like, when I have a, something covering and, like, connecting to the boot, it's like, oh, my God. Mm. Look at that. Who knows how long that leg is, but <laughs> I just have shorts on. No. Anyways. <laughs> but, yeah, knits. I love knit sweaters. The worst ones, though, are those ones that have, like, holes in them. So then you think you're going to be warm, and then you're freezing because oh, it's like the oh, wind's yeah. blowing through I thought you were going to say it. when you get a hole in them. Th- that also no, really that also sucks. Because you're like... But, like, I prefer okay. these ones more because there's, like, not any... But, you know, like, the crocheted kind. Sometimes they just get too holy, and then you're, like, kind of vulnerable. Oh, you might yeah. as well be wearing nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I have a lot of long sleeves to wear under those. Yeah. yeah it gets chilly, chilly. Um, okay, next. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I have for number two, I have Cheesy School Carnival. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know if it's just, like, nostalgia. I mean, yeah, it's basically just, like, nostalgia. Just, like, I don't know. Obviously, n- I'm not going to Cheesy School Carnivals anymore. I don't know how to explain it, Well, though. I guess I didn't have that to like it. <sighs> really? No. Hmm. You ever did, like, a cakewalk? <laughs> no. What's that? You don't know what I, you don't know what a cakewalk is? No, what is that? Bro, it's some white people shit. What is Actually, that? I wonder. I feel like the history is actually like might be complicated. But <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't That's know. That's the white people way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um what is a cake white walk? Oh, it, but you literally, you just walk around in a, it's so dumb. Like, I don't even, you just walk in a circle and there's like numbers and they like spin a, and there's like music playing and then you like, <laughs> and then the music stops and like you stop on your number and then they like spin a wheel and hit whatever number it lands on, you get like a prize. That's so obscure. Is that like actually like what a cake walk is? Because that doesn't even sound. No, I know. It sounds so lame. But, well, I mean, that's, you know, why it's kind of funny, because it is really lame. But, like, a cakewalk, you know, also the expression. Um, There's an expression? Yeah. Like, that's a cakewalk? Like, easy? Easy as cake? Yeah. Easy, wait. That's a, that, yeah, yeah, that that's was a cakewalk? Cake yeah. yeah. Um, that's why I thought that pie. started and ended <laughs> as an expression. <laughs> what is a cakewalk? Yeah, it's just a prize walk. Oh, you just, like, freaking walk around. Okay, here it is. But it says the cakewalk was a dance uh, developed from the prize walks held in the mid-19th century, <laughs> generally at get-togethers on black slave plantations before and after <laughs> emancipation in the southern United <laughs> States. Um, <laughs> that was so full circle so quick. <laughs> yeah, the cakewalk was a pre-Civil War dance originally performed by slaves on plantation grounds. See, I knew it was weird because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I remember learning about it in dance history. Mm. But but that's how we do it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you have fond memories of your cakewalk. <laughs> Maybe that's where it is. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I really I don't, okay, can we move on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, can, can I, I don't know, can I change it? Can I change my, like haunted houses? <laughs> can I recant anything I said in possibly a cakewalk? Uh, I mean, there's also, you know, like, I don't even know. The more I think about it, the more I feel like this is not, anyways, I don't, whatever. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, so mine is pretty colors, and what I mean by that is the natural pretty colors, the, yeah. the leaves turning and all that. It's for Reno folks, but when you're driving southwest on the McCarran Loop, and you're, like, passing, like, the Collin Ranch area, and you can see, like, all those trees, like, kind of down by oh, that yeah. road. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just the best part. That's just so beautiful. <laughs> of McCarran, anyways. Yeah. Your next one. Um. Uh. Uh, <laughs> number three coming in at number three i have soup <laughs> i also have soup as and number, number three, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it no further explanation. i have but i have a soup smiley face iced to hot the transition of beverage as well yeah see i don't have that transition in beverages and if i'm walking to class i'm getting a hot beverage well, but if I'm going to be just sitting, I'm getting a cold beverage. I'm not getting hot beverages in fall. In, like, the dead of winter when I am, like, sad. Maybe. That medicine ball Have from Starbucks. Have to just, like, well, to, like, hold while I'm, like, walking on campus. Because holding an iced beverage. Miserable. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So I don't even like hot coffee. I don't I'll accept it. Uh, it's never hot coffee in, like, usually. The dead of winter. It's usually hot tea. Oh yeah. I'm going I, for a hot yeah. tea. Exactly. Like, coffee yeah, right. is no right. longer. I would rather have hot tea than hot coffee. Yeah, hot like... coffee is not a thing. Yeah. Anyways, at number four, I have costume parties <laughs> and just costumes in general. I love putting. To- I fucking love putting together costumes. It's like. One of my favorite pastimes. 
you're also pretty good at it. Yeah. Like, you really, like, get into the vibes. Yeah. Now, you know, I have, like, short old lady hair. If you look like Kira, you're probably just better off dressing as Shrek. Do you have any plans? Anything brewing? Or is that to be released next time? Um, I actually, I mean, I do. I have nothing, like, I haven't, like, really set, like, because I haven't bought anything. Also, I'll, like, start thrifting, like, months in advance. Or sometimes I have, like, a continuous list of costumes. And, like, for example, for the fairy godmother, I was just thrifting, and I stumbled upon the dress. Mm. And I was like, this is my time now. Anyways. My number four is a low electricity bill. Best open oh, window sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one. It's also because it's not, like, absolutely freezing yet. So you can actually yeah. just enjoy the coolness before winter comes and also just ruins your electricity bill all over again. Yeah. You can actually, like, open the window to, like, cool your house down. And it feels so good. Oh, yeah. And just, like, having it blow in your face when you're asleep. The best sleep happens in the fall. Yeah. Like that movie-level sleep where you're, like... Out of like a Harry Potter vibe kind of sleep. Yeah. That's a fall nap. Uh, yeah. Crisp, mm -hmm. crispy sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get to bring my favorite blanket back under your bed. Oh, yeah. And you just get so cozy. Yeah. And you're just like, ah. Uh, oh, my God. And you can cuddle again. Yeah. Bruh, like, get off me. Get away <laughs> from me. At least but you don't have anyways, a train. <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys don't know this, but the train is so obscenely loud from if my windows are open. Well, it's like it's right insane. next to your house. Like yeah, I no. can I can hear the train in my house. It is not next to your house. And it's not next You live house. three miles away from me. <laughs> and I live like three hundred yards yeah. if that. Yeah. yeah. Like I no, don't you can you can see the train from your window. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, on a bad day, I could jump out my window, ro run across the street, and hop on the train tracks. Yep. Yeah. What's your number five? Coming in at number five, I love this one. Oh, my God. So, basically, just, like, the weather getting colder mm -hmm. at this point, it finally matches the school vibe. Like, it makes you want to be, like, more studious. Like, it goes mm. with, like, an academic aesthetic mm -hmm. and so like literally i feel like studying is like better now yeah because like when it's hot no no when being you can be outside being in the, dude being in the library on like leather seats with your shorts just sticking to it <laughs> not the vibe well also like when you could be thinking about all the other things you could you do so, outside so other right. things to once be doing. like outside activities like aren't a possibility anymore you're like wow i can just stay in and read. Yeah, uh, that actually is similar to my number five. Mine is cozy activities return. Mm hmm. You know what we're not doing in the summer? A puzzle. <laughs> A puzzle. You know what else we're not doing in the summer? <clears throat> Legos. Isis loves puzzles, and it was like <laughs> May, and she still wanted to do puzzles, and we were like, no. <laughs> Puzzles are winter activities. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous because I'm so over. excited <laughs> to do a fucking puzzle again. <laughs> well, especially because we have that extra table now. We can have a puzzle table. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's exciting, actually. With that bright-ass overhead I light. I doing them on your coffee, coffee table. table. I know. Oh, good time. So good. Okay, that's going to be great. <laughs> um, Anyways. <sighs> the things we hate. Right. So number one, I hate even like <laughs> bringing this up, <laughs> but I just like have to get it out there. But for number one, I have a PSL. I the, also the have infamous, PSL. The infamous pumpkin spice latte. It's so like, I don't even, it's like, I'm so, I don't even like want to talk about it. Like, I don't even want to give it the time of day, the breath. Because it's so over-talked about. I mean, like, you know. it's um, But it's, like, so... Um, it's, like, the problem with PSL isn't that it exists. It, it, the problem with PSL is that it's a personality trait. <sighs> it's, like, the same... It's, 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 it's Stanley Cup adjacent. Y yes. White girls. Well, I also have, like, with... It's anything PSL slash artificial. I also... I oh, love yeah. warm. I love nutmeg. I love cinnamon. I hate the artificial 
nutmeg, cinnamon smells and tastes and flavors. Yeah. Also, just like this kind of goes into my next one, but like just forcing it into just like things that just don't need it. Don't need it. That's annoying. Like in every kind of doodly bop pumpkin spice like your, salad your dressing your oreos yeah <laughs> your oreos you know what i mean like that's what's annoying because it's on its own it's like in a pumpkin pie right Excellent. where it belongs <laughs> like hot apple cider amazing one more thing on this i would rather a hot latte with cinnamon on top yeah 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 than a PSL. I would rather a uh, chai a latte. Mexican mocha. I love a Mexican mocha. And so, like, PSL almost, like, ruins all the other, like, inherently wonderful fall beverages. Right. And, like, spices. Just... <laughs> Anyways. What's your number two? Yeah. Okay. My number two is bad home decor slash home goods slash flannel slash forced <laughs> uh that's my number six forced flannel fall flavors and flambe <laughs> flugans <laughs> yeah it's disgusting um yeah as i've gotten older i think i've just like come to the decision especially now given like my house that like you don't have to dress your home for like a season Especially because I feel like people more like to do it for fall and winter. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I have an entirely pink living room and uh, blue cabinets in my kitchen. So it's like where, if I just slapped flannel everywhere, that would look horrendous. (laughs) I feel like people go into Target and they go into Home Goods and they like see something pumpkin and they're like, I've never seen this before. Let me take it home. And then you either fall into two aesthetics. Everything is that ugly ass orange, purple, green, black. Like traditional Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like primary color Halloween. Yeah, primary color Halloween. Or then you fall into Montessori Halloween. Montessori Halloween. It's all neutral pumpkins, off brown pumpkins, white pumpkins. And everything is neutral, which then is equally... So now it just looks tacky because it fits with your home vibes, but it's not fun. I don't... Yeah. I don't... See, I'm kind of conflicted on where I stand this year. Because as of right now, I kind of have no intentions to decorate, but... I, but I, I still kind of want to, but mm-hmm. I'm like, how, so I'm not sure how I feel about like a pink pumpkin. That's fine. You could you could do pink, purple, yellow. I feel like you can get more away with like Halloween, like tacky Halloween decoration. Because like, it's just fun at the end of the day. Even if it looks right. like shit. shit it's fun. <laughs> well, I was going to say, so the main decorations that I'm thinking about putting up is the tacky ass candles. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to hang candles from my window seal top of my window seal i'm thinking about doing it there yeah and then i was thinking about getting on fan (laughs) (laughs) um i was thinking about getting some candle holders like not as much pumpkin skeleton as possible so i'm trying to do like halloween adjacent so i'm gonna do like a what is it a candelibra oh is that what it's called are those the candlestick holders Wait, what did you, what is it called? I think it's called a candelibra. Candel, candelibra? Candel, candel, I think that's right. Yeah? It could be wrong. It's definitely something like that. We get what we're talking about then. Yeah. So I was thinking about getting like a table runner and putting that on one of my tables and then just having candlesticks all fall, just melt onto it. Candelabra? Candelabra? Candela- candelabra? Candelibra? <laughs> Candelibra, Candela- candelabrum, and candelabra. I'm like, can we get some pronunciation? I think it's candelabra. Just give me some uh, Merriam Webster dictionary. Candelabra. Play the bitch. Candelabra. Candelabra. Cool. Wait, what did, did you I say? Did I say it right? I think I might have said candelibra. Candelibra, yeah. But Whatever. close enough. I think most people call them a candlestick holder. Yeah. So, you know what? <laughs> it's like the difference between, like, a big spoon and, a, like, a ladle. <laughs> yeah. So, thinking about that, 
And then I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do any spider webs. <laughs> and yep. that's about all I think I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And maybe like a bloody handprint somewhere. Ooh. 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 You know what? I totally forgot. I have like a black hole half bath downstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, like half of it's painted black and it has some like vague space decor and some like trippy posters. And it has like a big chunky candle holder and it currently has in lipstick a smiley face with like x's for the eyes Mm -hmm. i feel like i might just dress up my bathroom like that would get get it out because i could put like anything in there yeah like the very traditional halloween you could also do your nook your reading nook area that you're oh yeah that'd be a good place that'd be a good place to go more like dusty halloween dusty fall yes Anyways. Or Halloween. What's your number two? Um, oh, no, what's your number, number three? three? Oh, okay. So this is what I was saying, like, I was, we were going to come back to, but bad slash cheap costumes. I oh, just like spirit Halloween. just like hurts my soul. The thought of, like, the fabric. I'm just imagining, like, that fabric with, like, Velcro on the shoulders <laughs> for some reason. And it's, like, that whole... I would just rather... I would literally rather see you in a sheet with the eyes cut out. <laughs> you probably hate my costumes, yeah, because I go tacky cheap. But it's also for, like, three years in a row, I went tutu. See, that's fine. I honestly feel like... For, like, so many costumes, your body just needs to be, like, one color. Right. And then you have some, like, ears or, like, some, right. like, whatever the Like, heck. one time like I was one a... one accessory that, like, gets the point and then, like, the color Like, one match. time I was a jack-o'-lantern, so I did, like, jack-o'-lantern makeup, and then I wore all black with an orange tutu. Right. And Which I fine. would rather see, like, your own clothes. Right. Than... Garbage. Garbage. Expensive garbage. It's just also hard to tread the line between creative and fun and, like, sexy. Yeah. And that's just... Which one do you want to be this year? It's so hard. All right. My number three is malt candy. I hate war... war, war, The circle ones. Oh, malt balls? Yeah, but what is that... Maltese? What is that brand called? (laughs) Um, oh, Whoppers. Whoppers. I fucking... (laughs) Hate them. I just whopper, don't like whopper, whopper, whopper. <laughs> I don't un- junior <laughs> double triple whopper. I don't. Have you heard that song? No. Oh my god. But I don't so- understand why they're even popular. Like malt milkshakes too. Like it's such a common thing I, to get I, at malt. I actually love malt. <laughs> why? It's I don't even know. It's like <sniffs> it's almost like you like the candy. Um, I don't love the candy because the chocolate's shitty and it's like, I don't. The, but that's what goes into a malt milkshake, right? They're just throwing that shit in there, right? Yeah. It's like that powder. But I like the oh. flavor of it that it gives. Because it gives like a kind of Fuck. a yeasty, like oaty, not like oaty, but like grainy. Because it's like a grain byproduct. It's like a barley byproduct. I don't care what it is. So it's like it's so cool. Maybe we need to go to Mel's and you need to order yeah. one and I need to take a get sip. A yeah. And I, I need, we need to, to make do a side a, by side. And see how much it's, I really hate it, but I hate that candy specifically. Yeah, it's honestly it's hard to pick it up. It's a very subtle flavor in milkshakes that I feel like you have to do a really like side by side to be like, oh, that is the malt in here. But yeah, we should do that. We should do a little side by side. And it's also only a fall. It never shows up for the rest of the year. It is only prevalent in the fall. Yeah. And, and I don't know common Halloween why. Candy. I don't even know why they still sell it. Like, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I used to I used to eat them as a kid. Like, I I would eat them. I would get those for Halloween and I'd cry. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really, I didn't really mind them. All right, what's your next? Um. Okay, coming to number four. Not much need for explanation, but I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't like scary movies. <laughs> I don't either. I like Scooby Doo. Mm hmm. Um, and like, that's it. <laughs> I don't like horror. I don't either. I don't like the genre. I don't know. There's Thriller is about as close to uncomfortable as I'm willing to get. Thri- oh, right. 
Like some thriller is almost damn near to horror. Like, but for the most part, thriller is yeah. There's like some a boundary. There's like some really good horror movies, or like I have the desire to watch like some of the classics. I don't know. But I like, watched Human Centipede. Oh, it was so bad. I haven't seen it. <laughs> it I don't even know if it's horror. It's like, it's not like it's not. Maybe it is horror. I don't remember. I watched it in high school, and I just remember being fucking angry. And, like, upset that someone came up with some shit like that. Yeah. Also, I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty sensitive to, like, media. Mm -hmm. And, like, especially, like, movies. Especially, like, really psychological ones. Like, I it can send me into, like, whole existential crises. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I it's see like, what you did there. Like, you know, I think it, it really, like, kind of can affect my well-being. And so I will watch them occasionally. And I can be better sometimes about brushing them off. But I would just rather not. Well, they're, like, so, especially, like, or psychological. I would probably never feel the need to, like, re-watch one. Yeah. Ever. Like, I would never be like, ooh, do you know what I'm in the mood for? Like, a rewatch of. Ew, no. Um, mine is, and this is funny because you liked this. I hate pumpkin patches. I think they suck. Dude, I actually considered putting this on my hate list. But I was like, I don't hate them. But they're never what you want no, them to be. No, ever. I totally agree with And it's really frustrating yeah. because it's like. I don't know what it is. Almost very... like, what the fuck for? Like, it's like, and like, even like in Reno, I, I've just never been to uh, a, the one in Reno is terrible. I've just never I been to a good one. I just it's don't so understand. It. Like in my brain, I think of carnival with like apple bobbing and com community and happiness. <laughs> right. And, and then you go and you're just like, what is this commercial bullshit? Yeah, you smell the dust and straw. And then, like, yeah, and then you see the sad horses and oh, the really yeah. shitty carnival rides. Mm -hmm. And it's just never, like... You know, it's weird. And I don't know if we just live in the wrong geographical location for it. Like, maybe there's, like, peak pumpkin I patches. I actually think the one in my area is, like, not bad. Maybe that's what I have to go visit. I think we should go check it out. It's a hundred times better than the one in Reno. I've never been to the one that's in Reno. Sure. But I just... The one in Reno is sad. They're just... They are sad. I just think pumpkin patches, it's like you want it to be like a mini Disneyland kind of thing. And it's just not. And it yeah. hurts. Yeah. I think like Apple Hill is a much better time. I think it sucks too, though. I don't know. But it's like... Um, better experience than just going to like a store to buy apple jam definitely it's definitely <laughs> something worth doing once a year but that's what i'm saying there are certain things like the pumpkin patch where i want it to be something that i'm yeah. like looking no. forward to all year and i'm like i can't wait till i can do it yeah and you can yep. definitely way overhype them in your mind and then you go and you're like, like oh <laughs> yeah no you have to really like lower your expectations in your mind but this year i'm excited to go and like check out wineries and me too hoopla uh, Hoopla! Okay. Last but not least. Ew. Actually, ugh. Okay. So my fifth and final no good yucky ghoul goblin goulash. Um, so, honestly, I think the music is pretty bad. And... This is Halloween. <laughs> and I, just, I feel like music is, like, sadder. Right, you can't you listen to sad music in the fall and winter because it's too sad. Well, you, but like people do, like rainy day music. I don't know, it gets right. so ugh, 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 into yeah. like just shitty indie, like rainy, blah, 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 which I listen to a lot of that. Right. Don't get me wrong. But I just will say in general, it gets more sad. And then Halloween specific music, I think, is like not good. And then you go right into the Christmas. The fucking Monster Mash. The How? It, why is that like where match? we stopped was, in making yeah, Halloween Yeah, and like music. there's like Thriller, I, which is fantastic, but why do we have one of that? Right, it, it, exactly. Like I feel like there's so it's so limited. It's like five songs that were created like over fifty years ago. Like I don't know why we stopped creating Halloween music. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to reach out to Mariah Carey and tell her. To I would. I don't Halloween. even know. Like I would rather have like thunderstorm, like. 
ghost noises in, in the, the background. background. I agree, <laughs> actually, because like, that's just like is a vibe. As for the other the one, we'll also mash. the monster <laughs> mash. Anyways, um, my last one is you eat too much and you walk too little, and it makes me sad. Yeah, because you're because <laughs> I think the other thing is like like I already don't like to walk long distances for no reason but like as soon as the weather starts dropping i'm not yeah like yeah. i'm not even parking the car i'm like hey pull up to the front of the grocery store i'm mm-hmm. a run in mm-hmm. and so that gets really sad and then also we're talking about nutritional value like depletes completely in food over the winter other than like in a stew or a soup and there's all this like baking bread and making pie and like all these things that i really want to consume but i have no justification for it and you know what doesn't sound fun tennis in the winter yeah. Or any of the random things that we can do for just for slight yeah. physical activity. Mm-hmm. It's gone. Mm-hmm. No catch in the park. So I guess, mm-hmm. like, for me, I just, I'm really excited. I, I wanted to put, like, food on my, like, love list, but I realized that one of the biggest downsides of the food and the candy and the pie and the cake mm-hmm. is that we become very stagnant. Yeah. Well, it's um, time to hunker down and get fat, conserve energy. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's it. We fucking can't <laughs> wait for ho- – uh, well, I can't wait for October. Um, I'm excited for our upcoming episode because Kira's <laughs> birthday's coming up. Halloween's coming up. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much both of our favorite holidays are up there. Um, and I guess it's going to be ex- – it's exciting to, like, kind of turn the switch on in our mind of, like, what mode we're going into and just kind of powering through and enjoying the last – like, fall – winter – I don't want to say sucks, but, like, this is, like, the last positive. It's kind of like in Antarctica where it goes, like, dark all. January. Yeah. Uh, And then February, you're so optimistic, and it's still bad. Ugh. But, yeah, like, this is, like. (laughs) You really got to soak it in. Yeah, you got to really get it in to help you, like, power through. Before there's just nothing. Desolate death. To enjoy. Anyways, um, also, like, an update on, like, if I do get a pink pumpkin. Oh, and we will also be posting on our Instagram 13 movies for October. Yeah. And we'll be watching them together. And if you guys want to tap in and watch it with us, that'd be really yeah. fun. But yeah, we'll put our watch list. 13 spooky spookers. That aren't really spooky for spookers. The season. Yeah. <laughs> and we're <we're> like goofy goobers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining us. This was Crisis with... Kira and Isis. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.